Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today it's part two of our Nicaragua adventure. We're out here fishing with Superfly with Gabriel. We're out of San Juan del Sur. We've been out here about 30 seconds. I made one cast, got breaking fish on the surface, and I'm hooked up. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Let's see what I got. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Shakespeare, Cabela's, Cajun Red Line, Fluger, Game Saver, Blue Cross of California Foundation, and by Laser Shark, manufactured by Eagle Claw. Okay, we came up on some breaking fish. I'm using Fluger Contender Reel. Level wine, works fine. 20 pound test Cajun red line. And I got a magic metal light jig, one of the larger models, MM7. And just do it right over those breaking fish. And it looks like we got a bonita or something. Something in the tuna family. Gabriel, what kind of tuna are these? Uh, probably a little bonita. There should be little some bonitas. jacks mixed in with them also. Yeah, they look like a bonita. All these skipjack up in the states. This would make great size bait for big blue blue marlin. Yeah, these little guys fight pretty good on this light tackle too. Yeah. Let's get check tuna. You see the jig we're using? It looks kind of like a big jig. All right, cool. I'm right, gonna go ahead. I think we're gonna move the boat right now so we can get back on that school of fish. I'll throw this jig out there again. All right. All right, man. Fish Fact, brought to you by Eagle Claw. Roosterfish is a prized game fish. It can be found anywhere from Mexico all the way down past Central America. They eat a large variety of small bait fish like mackerel, sardinas, and will even eat shrimps and squids. Roosterfish are a lot of fun to catch, and you can find them in shallow waters and even surf fishing along the beaches. The largest reported roosterfish was over 114 pounds. Well, what we're doing right now, we're offshore a little bit. We got a break in the wind. So Gabriel, our skipper, captain for owner of the Superfly fleet out here, decided let's head offshore a little bit, look for some Dorado, maybe you luck out and find a sailfish. And what we're doing is we're finding birds. There's some birds up here uh, flying around. And these frigate birds, they'll fly around and they'll look for the schools of bait fish that the Dorado and the tuna are, are chasing up to the surface. So that's what we're doing right now. We got Eric in the back, Gabriel in the back. They got three, four rods out there trolling right now. We got some ballyhoo on some, some jigs on the other. Just slow trolling them around here. And we're gonna work these areas. You see the birds right off the bow. We're gonna drive right up to those birds, circle around there a couple times, and try to find the fish. Now, once we find the Dorado, normally what happens is you keep one in the water and the whole school will stay close to the boat. So that's the goal. We have some artificial jigs, bucktails, magic metal jigs, all rigged up. So once we hook a couple on the trolling rods, we get them in, then Eric and I will take turns throwing the artificials in the water and hooking the Dorado and keeping them right there. Now if we get real lucky, we see a nice sailfish, of course we're gonna troll by and try to get that. But right now we're on a mission to get really close to these birds, these frigate birds, and 
See how low that bird is? That tells us the bait fish are real close to the surface. So that's where we're headed to right now. I got him. Yeah. Oh, that's not a, a yeah, a little Dorado. Got a dodo. I'll get that one. Okay. There he is. We went right by those birds like we talked about, and there's a Dorado right on it. There he is. All right, Eric, so you get one on that slide back. Now, Eric just dropped back a bait. We got the dodo right here. He's on this rod, the troll. Let's see if we can get a, a follower. This fish came up and he hit the bait on the outrigger and he didn't swallow it. He just hit the outrigger and then he turned back and he ate it. And I grabbed the rod and set the hook in it. Do you have a bait on there too? You have a jig? Bait. Bait. Eric slid back a, a dead bait on the slide so we can get another one. Hopefully we'll bring the whole school in with us. There should be a bunch of Dorado. We saw that bird working. Ooh. We saw that those birds circling there, so there should be a bunch of fish there. Let's see what happens here with this guy. There he goes. He's gonna run this way. Seen anything below. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any followers. I'm gonna keep this guy. I wanna keep a couple for dinner. Oh, he's gonna jump right there. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna jump again. He's gonna jump again. Nice, colorful fish. Little Dorado. Female, tell by the head. Okay, there we go. Here's a Dorado. This is a Dorado right here. We got it. So what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna we're working the baits. A couple of baits in the water. Normally, we get the whole school to attack the boat. This time it didn't happen. So what we're gonna do is just keep working this area. Gonna keep that one to see if we can find us a couple more. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by Shakespeare, manufacturer of America's best selling fishing rod, the Ugly Stick. This week in the tackle box, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about fishing down here in Nicaragua. Now, what we're doing today is we're fishing inshore, right along the rocks, close to the beach. There's lots of different fish that live in here. And one of my favorite fish to catch are the rooster fish. There's lots of amber jack in here. And lots of times lots of different jacks, like Jack Travel. You never know what to expect. And a great way to catch these fish is to fish a jig right up on the surface. So we're casting right to the rocks, right over high spots, working the jig slowly. One of my favorite jigs to use is a Magic Metal Light. This is an MM7 and this is an MM5. These are great colors, a mackerel color and a blue sardine. And the way you work this is just cast right over the high spot and just have it swim right back to you nice and slow. The biggest mistake most people make when they're using light jigs like this is they grind them too fast and it kills all the action. Just wind them back to you, they kick side to side, the rooster fish, the jacks, they just can't resist them, they work great. And this is what they look like when you find them in your local store. You can also find them on the websites too. Now another trick you should know about when you're traveling, it doesn't matter if you're in Nicaragua, Central America, Mexico, even Hawaii, any place you go, you should bring your extra tackle and put it in these game saver bags. What's nice about having your extra tackle in the game saver bags, it's always gonna be dry. If you don't need it for the trip, you just take it home, use it again later. Or if you do need it, you just open the bag up and your tackle's always gonna be great. Well, let's get back on the water, show you more exciting action down here in beautiful Nicaragua on this week's episode of sport fishing. <laughs> Hey 
I'm Chris Berry, and this is Pelican Eyes in San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua. We've been here five years now and are working on our third phase. We have a combination of regular hotel rooms and villas that are owned by, by individuals. We have about 50, 50 units available right now, and we're growing to about 65. The property is about 25 acres. Uh, there are a good portion of it. 12 acres is a reserve to our south, and we have green areas that have no, no building on it uh, around in the property. We have three pools. Uh, the property is built on hills, so it's a walking property. On the property, we, we do massage. We have, a, we have a, a couple of great massage artists here working, male and female. Uh, that's, that's getting to be more and more popular every day. Again, in our next phase, we're, we're opening a small gym and a little bit more extensive spa facilities because people have seemed to enjoy that so much. We have a wonderful chef. Our restaurant is, 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 is one of the best. It's considered one of the best in Nicaragua. We've been very, very lucky with that. We offer uh, a variety of cuisine, always changing it, lots of specials, so that anybody staying here for two or three days never has to eat the same thing twice. Uh, we have a very informative website. Uh, we're, we're really proud of it. You can learn anything that you need to know about us and about Nicaragua. We've got lots of links. Uh, the, it's www.piedraziola.com. We invite you all to come see us. Nicaragua is safe. It's a wonderful place to visit. Uh, come see our property and come enjoy these incredible people. we got three going right now. Two for sure. We got a little Dorado out here. I think it's another female. Take a look at her when she comes in here. There was a whole school of them. I had about five or six of them come crash the boat. Little female. Females seem to be more aggressive today. Oh! This is a little female. Little female Dorado. Go ahead and let her go real quick. There she goes. Now, Gabriel's got one here on the other side too. Let's see what his looks like. Another little one here. Is this the male? Another, Another female. You got that one on uh, Value, huh? Yeah. They spin out those red crabs, too. Oh, yeah, the little shrimps. Hey, that one hooked good. We're about four or five miles off the coast of Nicaragua in between between Costa Rica and Nicaragua, where there's a big bay here, so there's usually a lot of bait around here that holds all these fish. I guess that's why they come in close. And what we're hoping will raise a sailfish, so we keep catching these little dorados, so we'll see what, what we get later on. And then I guess in the afternoon we're gonna go again inshore and look for the roosters. So. All right, let's go do it again. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez Dipping Sauces and the Baja Style Fish Batter. This week in the galley, I want to talk to you about a nice, simple recipe to do for bonita. I know when you talk about bonita, everybody says, why would you cook up bonita? There's so many other fish there. Well, bonita is really a great fish to eat. It's on the very bottom of the tuna family, but it does taste good and it's a fun way to cook. So I'm going to show you a different recipe that I like to use bonita, a different way to do it. Now, first thing you want to do is get your pan up nice and hot. You're going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. It's going to take a little while to get this nice and warm. And we want to get this uh, really nice and hot because we're going to blacken this bonita today. Have some butter. Put that in there. And while this gets nice and warm, let's get our bonita ready to cook. 
Okay, the butter's melting really good here, and we have it in there with that olive oil. Now we want to get our fish ready. And what we're doing is we have some fish that's already been sitting in the dipping sauce. Now we also use this lemon lime dipping sauce as a marinade. It works really good for that. And with Bonita's a little bit stronger fish, so we want to kind of mask the taste a little bit. That's why we're using the dipping sauce as a marinade. We have that in here, and to blacken it, we just take our fish out. Mm. And we're going to add our spice to it. And this is for blackening fish. So you just put it on there really good. And let's flip this over. And the spice the spice blends are really good. Now all we want to do now is just drop this into the hot oil. There we go. This is cooking really good now. And what we want to do is just flip this over. Oh yeah, see how it's getting that nice black and color to it. That's what you want to see. And we're going to end up with our fish tacos. They're going to be blackened bonita fish tacos. I know it sounds a little different, but it really does taste great. You don't necessarily have to deep fry fish, you know, in heavy batter or, or lots of oil to make fish tacos. This is a fun way to take a fish like bonita, mask some of the taste of it, make it delicious. Now I want to add a little bit of vegetables to it. So what I have here are some bell peppers. I'm just going to put those in here and a little bit of onion. I'm just gonna grill them a little bit. I'm not really gonna try to cook them a lot, just wanna soften them up. And that's what we have here. And of course, whenever you're cooking fish, I always like to add a little bit of lemon and lime. Here's some lime juice. That citrus, you know, especially with like the marinade that we're using there, always adds to it. It doesn't hurt it to add a little bit more juice to it, a little bit more lemon. And if you want, you can put that right on top of the vegetables too. It'll soak in there. Again, I'm not really trying to cook the vegetables a lot. I just want to soften them up and the heat will do that. So this take another minute or so. We have our tortilla all ready to go. And in a second, we'll be eating this fish taco. Mmm, that's delicious. This is a very simple recipe to do. You can do it at home, inside the kitchen, or out in a barbecue or like this, out on your boat. Remember, Bonita's a great fish to eat. Just want to clean them right away, only cook the white meat, and this is a fun, creative way to do it. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action here on Sport Fishing. Here's our little rooster. He's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. Little rooster fish. Nice little rooster. Alright, you're gonna be on the side. There he is. Beautiful little rooster fish. I don't see another one with them. Usually there's a couple of them. Yeah, roosters. Yeah, but a, a lot of a lot of people have come down here and they never have caught a rooster fish before. We're lucky enough to have them here in Nicaragua and lots of them, so. Yeah. And they're a nice fish because people are encouraged to release them. They're just a, a fun fish to catch. Yeah. Yeah. Nice rooster. We got a 5 aught eagle claw laser sharp hook on there. Just light mullet. There he is, right here. Go ahead and release this guy. That laser sharp hook did a great job. Just gonna release him right here real quick. Here's a fish I caught. Beautiful low rooster fish. Thanks, Gabriel. Another beautiful Nicaraguan rooster fish. 
revive him here a little bit. There he goes. There he goes. Woo! That was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, let's go get another one. Hey, Eric, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dan. I appreciate it. Gabriel, can't thank you enough. It was awesome. Yeah, it was great to meet Good you. Life is thanks, Gabriel. We had a great time. Just real quick, Eric's company is called Fisherman's Connection. He's uh, based in Huntington Beach, California. Yes, sir. And they can find your website at? You can find us at Fisherman's Connection at att.net. Great operation for fine electronics and solid electronics. Does a great job. Our boats that we use on TV, he does all the work. And Gabriel, I can't thank you enough. It was a great time. That was my pleasure. I love coming to Nicaragua. And now it's nice to see you have a great operation <laughs> down here. A lot of guys I fished with in the past down here have kind of been like weekend operators. Gabriel's the first guy I met down here fishing out of San Juan del Sur. It does it full time. This is what he does. This is what his company is all about. And the super fly business, does that mean you specialize in fly fishing? Yeah, you like fly light, fishing? Light tackle, fly fishing, conventional stuff, everything. Yeah. And what I liked about what we found out today, you don't have to go far. There's a lot of fish along the shore. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the good thing about Nicaragua. You don't have to go far. Yeah, the fishing's great. And it's good about fishing with you because you do it every day. You knew what time we needed to be on those rocks. I mean, the currents were changing, tide was coming in. That's what we caught. That was a big key catching those yeah, fish today. Yeah, the more today. you fish, the more you know. So. Yeah, yeah <laughs> lo local knowledge. Experience. If you yeah. want to find out more information about Gabriel's operation, you can visit his website. At superflynika.com. We'll be putting that address for you up on the show at the end of the show. Well, I had a great time down here. Thanks again, Gabriel. I can't thank you enough. Thanks, Eric, for coming Thanks, down. Man, Dan. Appreciate it. It was a great trip down here in beautiful Nicaragua. It was a lot of fun. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you did enjoy this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week when we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Thanks, man.